This lightweight 200 watt flexible solar panel claims to be the most flexible and durable solar panel on the market. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey everyone, Vinny here. Today I'm reviewing the Buj RV Arch 200 watt flexible solar panel. They sent me this panel for review. I can say whatever I want and share my unbiased opinion. You will be the judge if this panel is right for you. From their spec, it is a 10 bus bar design and the mono solar cell is sandwiched between two layers of fiberglass. Out of the box, it comes with a detailed user manual with useful installation tips and panel specifications. The panel is well padded to ensure no damage to the panel during transportation. The build quality seems very good with no scratches or dents. The panel feels very light and flexible. The overall thickness is only 1.8 inch. Let me measure it. It is about 2.1 millimeter. Bujawi claim it can be bent to 270 degrees without breaking. Let me try it. Yes, it surely can bend to 270 degrees for sure. So it can be mounted to most curved surfaces. The back side is very smooth, so it can be adhered to any smooth surface using double side tapes. You can also mechanically attach this panel using the provided grommets. The solar cells layer of this panel is protected with ethylene tetrafluoroethylene ETFE. ETFE is resistant to chemicals, water and UV rays and can withstand a wide range of temperatures. ETFE is easy to clean and maintain even in harsh environments. The panel is only 58.1 inches times 31 inches. Wu Jiaoui claims it can withstand high wind up to 141 miles per hour and snow loads 113 pounds per square foot. Since this panel is only 7 pounds, it is lightweight and easy to carry. It is relatively small compared to other similar solar panels. The use of 10 bus bar design resulting in a higher conversion rate of 23%, increased cell receiving service, and longer service life. Bujawi offer material and workmanship warrant for 5 years. All tests were performed in New Jersey at the month of November 2024. Since New Jersey received less direct sunlight throughout the year, test result may be much less than the rated output of the solar panel. The first test I did was try it on top of my minivan, since these panels were mostly installed on the roof. I placed it on the roof of my minivan camper and it fit perfectly. With the crossbar casting shadow over the solar panel, the solar input was only 25 watts. Once I removed the crossbars, we have 71 watts. For comparison, I placed my EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel next to the Buja V. Together, both panels generated 144 watts of power, with 74 watts coming from the EcoFlow panel. Interestingly, the Bujawi 200W panel slightly outperformed the EcoFlow 220W panel when both were placed horizontally. Now let's tilt the panel to optimize sun exposures. As expected, the power output increases significantly. I used my homemade sundial to set the best angle for the day. The highest input recorded was 172 watts. In a follow-up test on another morning, the panel's performance improved slightly. The solar input fluctuated 
but generally stay around 100 watt. Next, I test the panel's performance under various shading conditions. As you can see, even partial shading can significantly reduce power output. It is important to avoid any obstruction to maximize efficiency. For the shading test, I found something interesting. Shading across either ends of the panel will kill all the inputs, but shading 25% along the length line will still give you 53 watts. Any further than that will also kill the input completely. The next test is water resistant test. To test the panel's water resistance, I simulate heavy rain. As you can see, the ETFE film effectively repels water, ensuring consistent performance even in wet conditions. The input maintained at 128 watts in tilting position. When positioned horizontally, it dropped to 76 watts. The last test is the scratch resistance. I tested the panel's scratch resistance using a screwdriver. While it held up well against normal wear and tear, it is important to note that it's not entirely scratch proof. Unfortunately, I accidentally scratched the panel with a sharp object during testing. However, the good news is that the scratch didn't affect the panel's performance. The Buj RV Arch 200 is an impressive solar panel that delivers on its promises. It's lightweight, flexible, durable, and efficient. Whether you are an RV owner, boater, or camper, this panel is a great choice. If you need a durable, flexible solar panel with a reasonable low price, the Buj RV Arch 200 can be beat. For those interested in the Arch 200 panel, I have provided product links and a discount code in the video description. If you have any questions or want to see more tests, leave a comment below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.